In this problem, we're told you are driving home from school steadily at 95 kilometers per hour for 130 kilometers. It then begins to rain and you slow down to 65 kilometers per hour. You arrive home after driving three hours and 20 minutes. So A tells us to find how far is your hometown from school and B says, what was your average speed? So I drew a diagram here of what's going on. So we have our car traveling 95 kilometers per hour and it does that for 130 kilometers. And then at this point, this is gonna be our car here. It slows down to 65 kilometers because it starts to rain. And then we just keep traveling home and then we eventually arrive home. And so we know the whole time this takes is three hours and 20 minutes. So in order to solve this problem, we're trying to find how far is our hometown from school. And so we know this distance here, but we don't know this distance. And so what we have to do is find this distance. And the way we're gonna do that first is by finding the individual time or how long it took us to travel each part. So let's go ahead and by find this part because this part is pretty easy. All you gotta do is take uh, how far you traveled and divide it by the speed you were going. So 130 kilometers uh, over 95 kilometers per hour. So our kilometers are basically gonna cancel. And if you do 130 divided by 95, you'll get that it equals 1.3684. And so this is gonna be the number of hours it took us to travel this distance here. So let me erase this, it's gonna be 1.1.3684 1 hours. So that's how long this took. Now we need to find this, uh, this how long this part took. And so the way we're gonna do that is by taking the total distance and subtracting this part, right? So if we take the total time, subtract this time, we're gonna get this time. So first we need to convert this into a decimal form of hours. And so we know that there's 60 minutes in an hour, right? So if we take this, and uh, multiply it by, by 60, you'll get 180. And if you add 20, that's the number of minutes you'll get. So 180 plus tw uh, 20 is gonna be 200. So 200 minutes, if we divide by, uh, we're trying to, if we divide by 60, it's gonna give us this in hours. So 200 divided by 60 is gonna be 3.33 uh, repeating. So the total amount of time it took us to get home is 3.3 hours or 3.33 hours. And so if we wanna find this distance, all we gotta do is take the total and subtract it by this. So 3.33 uh, minus this in hours, 1.368. It's gonna give you 1.9 or 1.965 hours. So we've got this in hours and we've got this in hours. And now that we've got this hours, what we're able to do is find this distance. And the way we're gonna do that is just by taking this 65 kilometers per hour and multiplying it by the number of hours. So 65 km per hour times 1.965. And so if you go ahead and do that 65 times 1.965 is going to give you 127.725. And keep in mind, uh, this is in hours, right? So these hours cancel. So this is gonna be kilometers. So we have 127.725 kilometers. And so we're trying to find the total uh, distance from the school right here all the way to our house. And so we know this is 130 and then this is 127. So the total distance is just gonna be them added up. So 127.725 plus 130. Uh, if you go ahead and do that, you should get 257.725. And so keep in mind, this is kilometers, right? So 257.725 kilometers. Uh, you can round however you want. I'm going to round it the whole number. Uh, so I'm just going to say it's 258 kilometers. So that's going to be your answer to A right here. Uh, the distance from the hometown to the school is 258 kilometers. But now let's move on to B. So B says, what was your average speed? So you need to know that speed is equal to distance over time. So that's how you find it. And so we know the distance, right? The distance between these two schools is 258 kilometers. But for this calculation, I'm gonna use the more exact version, 257.725. So speed equals 257.725 over the amount of time it took. And so if you remember, we calculated this in hours. Um, it's 3.33 hours is how long our thing took. So if we just do it like this, so we take our distance, 257.725, 
and then we divide it by 3.33. Go ahead and do that 257.725, and then we're dividing by 3.33. So you should get about 77.3948 and so on. I'm gonna round to the whole number again. So I'm just gonna say 77, and keep in mind the units of this. This is in kilometers and this is in hours, correct? This is our distance, this is our time. So it's just gonna be kilometers per hour. So the answer to B is gonna be 77 kilometers per hour. And so this right here is gonna be B, and this right here is A, and that's how you solve this problem.